One of the most important figures in the history of darts has passed away. Tommy Cox, a former players manager, tournament director, and co-founder of the Professional Darts Corporation, died early this morning at the age of 72. And the tributes are pouring in for a PDC pioneer today on High Roller Radio. Yes, the darting world is mourning today on news of the death of Tommy Cox, who in 1993, alongside Dick Alex and John Markovic, stood by the game's best players as they broke away from the BDO to form the World Darts Council, now the PDC. It is with the greatest of sadness that I must break the news is how the post from his son Daniel began that my father and founder of the PDC, Tommy Cox, has passed away today after a short battle with pancreatic cancer. He was surrounded by loved ones right to the very end. On behalf of the family, we'd like to thank the efforts of all the staff at the hospice for the compassion and excellent care they afforded my dad. He then said, God bless you. We miss you so much already. So sad, tweeted the PDC's Matthew Porter, that one of the most important people in darts history has passed away. Darts wouldn't be where it is today without his involvement, and we miss him terribly. It really was a who's who list of 16 players, discontented with darts decline, legends all of them, who left the BDO back in 1993. Phil Taylor, Eric Bristow, Jockey Wilson, Bob Anderson, Keith Deller to name a few and Cox was right there with them to help navigate the uncharted waters. Well we've seen what the PDC's become the Grand Slam this week in Wolverhampton a prime example pros nowadays playing to sold out record crowds loud boisterous many in fancy dress Germany's become a darts hotbed, the Netherlands too. The game's so big in Asia that the PDC has now launched an Asian tour, and on opening night there, there was a nine-darter. The winner of this year's world championship will get a half a million pounds. That's how the sport's grown absolutely massive. Cox has been there from the very beginning. There's a nice tribute over at PDC.TV. This is an extremely sad day for us all, the quote from Chairman Barry Hearn. Tommy's contribution to our formation can never be understated and will never be forgotten. He was known and respected throughout the sport, and I know how proud he was of the worldwide growth of the PDC. He then added, I can honestly say that Tommy was one one of the primary reasons I got involved in darts, he encouraged me to get into the sport. Very sad news, tweeted Dick Alex. Tommy Cox, my fellow pirate in the formation of artificial PDC, passed away this morning. Sleep well, mate. So many good memories. My condolences to Norma and the family. And yes, the tributes were many. They poured in. A very sad day losing a good friend, said Rod Harrington, one of those 16 breakaway players. He stood fast to help form the WDC PDC. We all owe him a lot. Rest in peace, Tom. For the darting world to know, tweeted Keith Deller, when the split happened, Tommy had the belief the WDC could be something special and backed it with his own money. Sad news, tweeted Phil Taylor, the game's greatest ever. Thoughts are with his family. Rest in peace, Tom. Rest in peace, added Gary Anderson. What you did for darts will never be forgotten. Raymond Van Barneveld was shocked. Can't believe it, he tweeted. Such a nice man who brought the PDC where it is today and whose knowledge made the game better and better. Really sad day for darts. Commentator Stuart Pike agreed with that. Tommy Cox fought for what he believed in. Without his strong will and determination, he said, the sport wouldn't be where it is today. The PDC and the sport will forever be in his debt. Legend of the game, Dennis Priestley here. Without Tommy, the PDC would not be where it is. My thoughts go out to his wife Norma, his children, and the rest of the Cox family at this tragic time. He will be greatly missed. Can't believe what I read this morning, said Joe Cullen. A lot of gratitude in this tweet. The faith he and his family showed me, not only financially, but personally too, made my career possible to this day. You'll be missed, Tommy. So many people paying their respects. Mark Dudbridge, Robbie Green, at Kong Darts, Russ Bray, MC John McDonald among them. 
Tommy was a lovely man, said Joe Mernon, who's enjoyed the growth of the game, but not necessarily his match last night against MVG at the Grand Slam. Tommy's done so much for darts, said Ross Smith. It wouldn't be where it is today without his professional outlook and contributions to the game. Simon Whitlock took to social media as well. A big thank you to that man is in place, the wizard said. He is one of the reasons us pro dart players can do this job. So many memories for fans of Tommy Cox when he was inducted into the PDC Hall of Fame alongside Dick Alex in 2010. He said this, it's been a long ride, but one I've hugely enjoyed. I've made a lot of friends along the way, and it's been a joy to see the progress Darts has made the last two decades. I look forward to still staying in touch with everyone in the sport, which makes this tweet from former pro and commentator Chris Mason perfectly apt. Without you and Dick, he wrote, none of this would have been possible. From myself and all the Darts family, thank you and rest in peace, Tommy. Adding, Enjoy a pint with Eric, referring, of course, to Eric Bristow, a five-time world champion who passed away back in April. The crafty Cockney will no doubt have a cold one waiting for his fellow Hall of Famer, Tommy Cox, today on High Roller Radio.